Okay, hello! Today we have a frame that's ready for paint and the idea is to turn this guy into this guy. Basically the head will be the head tube. The middle of the frame will be his torso. The fork kind of looks like his hands already. And legs will be attached to the S. First thing we have to do is to paint his ugly mug. This is how it looks at the end. It's yellow, just as it's supposed to be. So now we're going to measure the frame up, see where the stencils will go, and I'll cut them out as I have them, as I've prepared them already. I just need to scale them properly to the frame and the fork. Here is his face and here is the eye that popped out. But we'll see how he looks. And there he is. I know that he looks a little bit like monkey at the moment, but... I forgot. Uh... Okay, I've talked a lot, now I'll do a lot, because I've changed plans. The order of colors is wrong and I'll do it different way. I'll update you. After all, this is... It. This is what we had to mask, only the yellow areas, all the rest will be going dark blue now and then the rest you'll see. And here is the puffy shirt of Mr. Homer Simpson. Okay, let's make some dark blue. Okay, so we had a bit of a battle actually as I decided to go for a really thick layer because it's a cartoon bike so it has to look cartoonish. The color looks saturated as hell. We'll mask off the pants now. Trousers? Mm. This is exactly how it looks after masking it off. So the rear part, the rear pants will be light blue. Oh, there is uh, quite a huge ding on the frame because someone, of course, over tightened the front derailleur. Listen up, here's the story about a little guy that lives in a blue world and all Let's out! And here is our... Here are our blue pants. Buy blue pants. Tell me about it. And we're back to masking. This is a uh, spot for the red paint. It will be much brighter than I anticipated in the beginning. And it will be very cool. Oh, 
I will probably sound like a broken record, but I went with a heavy coat to match the cartoonish look. Uh, you need to go with the same scheme throughout all the paint to, to make it even and to look properly. Here I go again on my own. Uh, masking is done. We're ready for the black. Back to black. Back to reality. <laughs> It's finally the fun part, as I call it, the stickering. Yep, so it's done. It's fun. It's nice. And I like it. It will look like Homer Simpson. For sure. Hey, hello. It's the next day and now we can clearly see that the yellow is a bit off. I'll repaint it and make it more Simpson worthy. Yep, and now I'm happy. The color is much better, way more Simpsonish. Noise? Yes, you guessed it. We're gonna do some masking again. I guess we skipped a little, but yeah, uh, now we have a white paint with Mr. Plow and some eyes. Eyes, eyes, baby. Now this part is cool, part of the work is cool, and it's super fun. <laughs> super fun with one hand. This is how it works. Fun. I actually, I actually remembered why it's fun. It's because it's the last color that goes on the frame. again. This probably won't get into the edit. Whoa! Uh, nothing happened. We're good. You can't even see it. I'll just repaint it because it's in the middle of solid color. Here you could probably see. But it's just a not dent or anything, it's like... Woo! <laughs> Woo! My heart is racing. Okay, again. <laughs> Nothing happened. <gasps> Not that uh, my hands are shaking or anything. Woo! That's exactly how you almost 
died from a heart attack and then are happy as fuck in like half a minute. Way to go, Homer. And I was afraid that this will be like boring or something. Turns out you just need to throw the frame at the end to the ground and it's not going to be boring anymore. Okay, let's see how Mr. Flow goes. Flow, flow! I calmed down a little bit, I assessed all the damages. And it's amazing how tough this paint is. The layers I put on was, were really thick and it, I don't know, it's really held up to the test. This little dinghy, that's the main impact area, which really is nothing. The most funny part is that it bumped into the same color on the fork. I'll sand it down just a bit and fill the color and clear coat will, will do the rest. It, it's... you'll see. You won't be able to see the difference. Just a touch here. And one more place. Oh, here. Just the discoloration. Just a quick touch up with an airbrush. It happens sometimes to fuck up your own work, like throw it or... Uh, shit happens, you know. I don't want to start rumbling about life, but if you've lived a bit, you know that shit happens. Just like it happened here. Uh, again, just to be clear, if something would happen to the color that would be beyond the repair, I would uh, send down the whole color and then repaint the whole color and that's why I was so happy that I don't have to redo any of patterns or something because that would be not fun. And we're about all about fun here, remember? Bless the fun. <laughs> uh, I'm pretty sure that's against the regulations. Blessed be the regulations. Hello, Homer. How are you? Hey, homie. Normally we would put clear coat already, but I need to, of course, repair the stuff that I broke. The only part that I'm kind of worried about is this particular spot, this one. I'll put a drop of paint and then send it down just to fill the crack. As I said, I used uh, airbrush to make some touch-ups and the color is already fine. I send it down and the rest will be done with clear coat. It will even up the color so you won't see the spots that were airbrushed. Airbrush. I was most afraid about the head tube, head tube because it was double or triple times made custom yellow but I managed to get it just on point so there's definitely nothing to see here. Um, clear coat. We're after the first coat of the clear coat and as you can see I'll show you that everything is funky now. And we're done, Zidane. That's basically it when it comes to painting. I'll just need to polish it up show you the photo session of the frame, how it looks at the end and we'll also show you the whole bike, how it turned out.
this is how it should look like sanded down properly so let's put some water on it and you'll see the difference in the reflection you already can see the sharpness of it compared to lack of sharpness over here thank you It is done. Finished.